Here's how to change mechanical brake pads. First up on the brake lever, loosen this up and tighten the barrel adjuster so it's all the way in. Next, go down here and unbolt the cable. That takes the pressure off. Now it's held on by a bolt up here and a bolt down here, so we just want to take both of those bolts off. They also adjust the side-to-side -side play, so when you're fine-tuning it, when you put it back on, you need to adjust these properly. There we go. So now there's a good look at the brake. So when you're looking for brake pads, you can get the brand name from the brake, and this one, Tektro, actually puts the model number of the brake pad on it. So look on it and see if there's something like M300 printed on it, and if that's the case, then you'll know that that's the size it is. There is a adjuster on the back side. So this pad is moved by the lever, and this pad is sitting still. But as the brakes get older, you can crank this in to adjust it or crank it out to move it out. So I'm gonna crank it all the way out. Now we need to pull this cotter pin out with our rusty pliers. That comes out and that's really the only thing holding it in. So now you can push your old pads out from the bottom. Um, if you're doing this and you don't know what pads you need, you could bring them into a bike shop and match them. They'll usually have some numbers on the back, but you can see that the numbers get worn out. There's a spring in the middle and then the new pads should come with a new spring and a new cotter pin. So you just take them, jam them in there, there's no directionality to them. They just go in the way they go in. Um, stick the cotter pin in. So the cotter pin is in there to hold it on. And then you just bend this sideways with your rusty pliers. And then before I put them back on, I'm going to crank this adjuster in just a little bit to help me center it. Uh, so there's a little bit of pressure on the pad moving it out from the wall here. Now we slide it back on. And we put the two bolts back in to hold it in place. Now you put these bolts in loose because they control it side to side. So when you're adjusting it, you need them to be loose and then to tighten them up to set the brake pads in the right position. All right, now I'm gonna adjust the cable. I'm gonna leave a little bit of slack in it and then tighten it on here. So now to get the brake pads centered, on the disc, I just pull the brake lever and then that centers it. And then while I'm holding the brake lever tight, I crunch these down and that will center the brake pads. But the back brake pad can't move. It's a, so it's a solidly fixed one. And the outside one towards me is the only one that can move. So after we do this and get these tight, and from the back, I'm just gonna screw this pad adjuster out again. So now the wheel will turn and the brakes will stop it. You can fine tune it up at the handlebar with the barrel adjuster, turning it outwards this way will make it tighter and turning it inwards will make it looser. Now you can run an eyeball check from the top. So what we're looking at is right here, I can see air on both sides of the disc. So that way I know it's not going to rub on the disc. Now you might have a warped disc, so you might want to spin it while you're doing this eyeball check and just make sure it isn't rubbing at all, and then you're fine.